Kingwin is an online global marketplace for video game keys. Steam, Origin, Uplay, Battle.net, Xbox, PSN, CD keys, and much more. All purchase keys are delivered instantly after purchase to the customer's email inbox, no shipping fees and no regional limitations. Hi, this is Robert from Studio 35, here to share this week's biggest gaming news with you all. Sorry to start off on a bad foot, but Epic Games were this week forced to delay their much-touted Fortnite cars released far past their initial expected release date. Let's be honest and say it's not completely unexpected, but gamers were expecting to give them a shot this month, but it has been delayed till next month thanks to a patch earlier this week informing gamers of the delay. The team did drop hints in a recent message that the new expected date would be August 4th. Moving on, Ubisoft have revealed that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions of Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla will not be burning a bigger hole in your pocket than you were maybe worrying about. Speaking in a conference call, Ubisoft boss Yves Guillemot said there would be no price hike for next-gen versions of its titles, but his statement were cautiously worded and clearly did not rule out an increase in the future. This is obviously a response to 2K Games, which recently dropped that it would be upping the price of NBA 2K21's next-gen Xbox and PlayStation versions. He said, open quote, For the Christmas games, we plan to come out with the same price as the previous generation of consoles. He went on to say that that's what we're focused on at the moment, end quote. Unfortunately, in highly unsettling news, former professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player Gonzalo Zero Barrios is now banned by Twitch following sexual misconduct allegations. It's still unclear if this is a permanent ban, but Barrios has been stripped of his partner status. He apparently confessed to former Tempo Storm teammates to sending sexually explicit messages to minors, even when knowing they were underage, and he has since the announcement had more allegations levied against him. In addition to his Twitch ban and ousting from the team, Facebook Gaming have also severed ties with the former pro gamer. Varios has deleted all of his tweets and said that he will never again attend tournaments. And finally, the big news this week, Microsoft's Xbox Game Showcase gave us an in-depth look at several of the exclusive games coming to the platform from its heaviest hitting studios for both this gen and next. Starting off with Halo Infinite, which is set on the titular ring and looking very open-worldy, Halo Infinite drops later this year running at a smooth 60fps. No Xbox event would be complete without a look at the new Forza game, and Turn 10 looks to be developing their next title for Xbox Series X and PC only, not for the current gen. It also won't be a launch title for the new console. Admittedly, Rare's new game Everwild, Undead Lab State of Decay 3 and Obsidian's Avowed left more questions than answers, but all look superb and well worth waiting for, but the Outer Worlds new DLC due in September looks to be tantalising. Speeding through the other titles revealed, Tell Me Why from Life is Strange developer Don't Nod will be dropping in August, the fabled Fable reboot will be dropping at an unknown time in the future, Xbox timed exclusive Tetris Effect, the upcoming Destiny 2 expansion Beyond Light, and Dusk Falls from Quantic Dream all made an appearance, most of which no one had any idea were in development. We got a second look at Bloopers the Medium, this time showing its double world gaming style, a teaser for Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide dropped from the developer of Vermintide, and a total shock came in the reveal of Stalker 2. And as if there wasn't enough reasons to join Game Pass? Every title is not only coming day and date to Game Pass, at no extra cost other than that of the subscription, but all titles currently have live demos on Xbox so you can try them out right now. And those are the major events this week in the world of gaming. Why don't you let us know in the comments what your highlights were? And while you're there, why don't you like this video as it makes our content more visible? And if you like what we do here and you do want to catch future content, you can subscribe to the channel. Sharing this video across all your favourite social media platforms to support our growth is also extremely highly appreciated by our team. This is Robbie F from Studio 35, wishing you all a good weekend.